Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is Saturday Standouts. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great week. Um, I'm not going to get into how crappy mine was because it's the weekend and we're good, okay? So we're just going to jump right into my products. I don't have a lot of products to go over, um, but I'm just going to jump right in. Good news is I do not have a... I still haven't decided what to call it. A shitty product, something that didn't work for me, so thumbs up for that. But like I said, I have a couple things I wanted to show you. First thing is on my nails. I posted, I don't remember if it was a snap or if it was an Instagram pic. It might have been on Instagram. I posted a picture of two polishes by Bonita Salon. Um, and I left the choice up to you guys, which color should I paint my nails? So, it was between, I'll show you the two shades, it was between this one and this baby pink here. And of course, obviously, I chose this um, brighter orangey pink kind of shade. Actually, orangey coral kind of shade. It's called Summer Punch, and it looks like this on my nails. And this is about, I think, a week. I think I'm fuzzy. This is about a week's wear, and it has started to chip a little bit towards the ends of my nails. That's because I am a nail... Where was I going with that? I am a person that uses their nails to open everything. Cans... Um, my little compacts, anything, I'm like digging in there with my nails. That's not something you should do if you want to prolong the wear of your polish. Okay? Little tip. <laughs> but anyway, um, this shade is really, really pretty. As you can see, it's called Summer Punch for a reason. This is like summer in a bottle. Amazing. I love corals. Corals are my shit. Like, coral is me all the way. Beautiful, beautiful color. I will tell you something though, um, I was a little bit eh about the formula of these polishes because I am so picky about polishes. If you've seen my, um, well I don't have a nail polish collection, but I showed you guys in a previous video a DIY on nail polish racks, I have tons and tons of nail polish. I love to paint my nails, I like to do nail art, etc. It's just like kind of like calming for me. But anyway, stay on topic Tina. Um, I have lots of nail polish. I am very picky about the formula, especially when I go and first apply it to the nails. I don't like when it looks kind of clumpy and streaky, you know what I'm saying? This formula tends to do that a little bit, it's not bad. Um, but I will say that when it's on the nail, it does spread and set to a smooth finish on the nails. Very, very nice formula once it does that. Um, this is, I want to say, two coats, and you get, you know, optimum opacity. So, really, really not bad, love it. I think this, these run for like two, three bucks. Um, I found mine at Rite Aid, and I have about five shades, but I think I'm going to go with this one next. What do you think? Leave in the description uh, in the comments below if you think I should go for this baby lavender kind of pinky shade next. Okay, that's favorite number one. Number two thing that I've been loving, and it's so funny because um, when I get ready to film or when I get ready in the morning for work or up to run errands, etc., I'm watching YouTube videos. Kathleen Lights, I was just watching her video that she posted today on drugstore um, bridal makeup, and it's so funny. I'm in the middle of bronzing my face with my next favorite, which is the Bronze um, Booster by Physicians Formula, and I swear, in mid-swipe, she goes and grabs the same bronzer and for good reason this is an amazing amazing bronzer at the drugstore it's we all know physicians formula is not cheap but it's not you know very um expensive like high-end makeup but this is a beautiful beautiful bronzing shade okay it's it's a matte bronzer but and i can't describe it kathleen says the same thing um it's not like a flat matte like bam kind of bronzer this is beautiful um i don't know where else to go with this other than i love it it blends out really nicely and it leaves like a nice just i don't want to say glow but it leaves a little something something on your skin you know what i'm saying it's not like flat mud on my face it gives you a nice you know color and just luminosity it's a great great bronzer if you haven't tried this out definitely check it out guys um drugstore can't go wrong okay i don't have a wipe um next favorite is actually not um not that old it came out by hard candy and it's the fast and fabulous makeup setting spray i love this thing six bucks um at walmart it smells like cucumbers it's got a great fine mist that doesn't like spew out droplets and like slap you in the face with it and then you have like this little ball of like you know makeup pooling because of the mist this 
is a great misting setting spray. Um, yeah, I forgot to set my face, but really, really, really been enjoying that. It's inexpensive and it does help the wear of my makeup, so thumbs up for that. Next thing that I've been loving, um, speaking of bronzers, this is the Fit Me Stick Foundation. It's the Shine Free and this is in the shade Coconut. I absolutely love taking stick form concealer or foundation and using that as a bronzing tool. Reason being, it's so convenient to just swipe it where you need it and then you can go in with like a stippling brush or um, a synthetic brush and just buff it into the skin. This shade for me, like I said, coconut, I think this is the darkest one they have, don't get me wrong. Um, could be one or two shades darker, but it's just great for bronzing up the face. It's not great for contouring because it's a little bit on the warm side, obviously, um, but it's great for getting around the temples, the hairline, the jawline, you know, on the lower part of the cheek just to give some color. It's great for going down the sides of the nose to contour your nose, um, under the chin if you want to like have a little bubble lip Kylie Jenner thing going on. It's really good for that as well. So absolutely been loving that from the drugstore. Next thing that I've been loving is for my hair. Now, I have curly hair, um, which I did not do it today. This is from yesterday. I know, don't judge me. Um, curly hair in the summer. It is just way too hot to like straight iron my hair every day. So I have been going out natural and using my, uh, what is this? The one, on, one and only Argon Oil um, Styling Cream. This is great. It's a cream consistency and it smells... I don't know. It smells really, really good. It's got like a soft, fragrant smell to it. It's really, really nice. When I have this in my curls, people walk by, they smell, and I get lots of compliments. So that's always a good thing when people tell you you smell um, great, you know. It helps to keep my curls moisturized and also gives them definition at the same time, but not crunchy. So, you know, you can play with your hair through the day. You can kind of like fluff it up and just give yourself more volume and it's just great stuff. Love that. Love that for my curly hair girls. Check that out. Okay, next favorite is actually a blush combo. Um, e.l.f. HD blushes. I feel so bad that I never, ever, ever give this thing any love until this past week. It's a cream formula. Um, blush that comes obviously in this little thing and it's called headliner this particular shade and a little goes a long way guys look at the color pigmentation payoff on that really really pretty what I'll do is I'll apply it to the back of my hand like this I will go in with my Real Techniques stippling brush grab a little bit of product and then I will just buff it onto my cheeks love this on its own but I also love it if I take adorable from the essence line of silky touch blushes which is also a great product on its own as well. And I will take some of this and just put it on top with the brush, not my finger. But that's the shade right there. It's adorable. And it's like a, just like a, a baby pink kind of deal. There it is swatched right next to, I don't know if you can tell. It's a very sheer, not sheer, but it's a very light color br uh, blush. But there it is right there next to the HD Headliner by e.l.f. Really, really been loving that combo together. Okay, guys, two final favorites. The first one is a newly uh, discovered product because I will admit that I was not in love with it when I first got it. I was like, what's the big deal? But as I've used it over time, I've fallen in love with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a travel size. I didn't like the brush just because it's got like that little curvy dip thing in the middle. But I really love it because... How do I put this so you'll understand me? The little divot in the middle um, makes the corner, the outer corner and the inner corner, really great for grabbing the inner lashes and the outer lashes and just wiggling and lifting them up. So it gives a lot of good volume. It's very, very easily buildable and it just does not clump on me. It gives me lots of volume and that is why I have fallen back in love with this. One more favorite, guys, is a brush. This is by Real Techniques and again, Another thing that I wasn't showing a lot of love to, but I recently picked it up again. It is the Fine, what is it? Fine Liner Brush by Real Techniques. It's a very long bristled liner brush. Now, they also have one that is silicone. It's like a silicone tip in this shape. I don't have that one. I've never tried it, but this one I love. I will let you know that I was a little iffy about like the density and the thickness of the bristles, but once you get your gel liner, your cream liner onto the bristles, it just, it's nice and sharp. See that? So really, really been loving that. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out if you do. 
Hi, Jaden. And yeah. Say hi. Woo! Do you guys remember back in the beginning of my channel where he would like jump and crave to be on camera? Now nah, he doesn't like it. Look how brown biscuit you are. You brown little boy. It's the Puerto Rican in him. All right, guys, leave down in the comments below um, if you think I should go with the baby pink from Bonita. Love you guys. Bye.